message this morning is going to come from all over the place. But we're going to start at Titus, the first chapter. The first chapter of Titus. The first verse. Titus 1 and 1. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect mm -hmm. and the knowledge of truth, mm -hmm. which is after godliness, in hope of eternal life, Amen. which God that cannot lie, mm -hmm. promised before the world began, mm -hmm. but hath in due time manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me mm -hmm. according to the commandment of God our Savior. Wow. The message this morning, <clears throat> Kingdom Living in a hellified world. All right now. Kingdom living yeah. in a hellified world. Mm -hmm. This world, when Jesus, when God planned this world, when he blew breath into Adam, when he took a rib and made he, he planned the world which he could live in, free from sin, free from all those worldly things that we find ourselves in today. Uh -huh. But because of man, and because he gave us freedom to choose, Satan entered the world, and he's taken control. It's a hell of a situation. But as Paul stated in this few verses. Looking at this first verse, Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ, according to the faith of God's elect, and acknowledging of the truth, which is after godliness. Mm -hmm. Paul, a servant of God. When Paul calls himself a servant, he has God in mind. Mm -hmm. Because if you know anything about Paul, you know that Paul was a learned man. That's right. He was a Roman citizen. Mm -hmm. Paul was well educated above all those that he should, but he was a servant mm -hmm. because he would had accepted what God, the calling that God had placed on his life. Mm -hmm. If you know anything about Jesus Christ, I, I looked this up as God gave me the message there. I went through and I did a search for the kingdom of God. In the Bible, the words are phrased, the kingdom of God. <clears throat> the kingdom of God is listed 69 times in the Bible, all in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. And most of that was Jesus talking about mm -hmm. what Jesus preached, the kingdom of God. Yeah. So he started in Matthew and just going throughout the word, the word, the New Testament. Jesus was preaching the coming of the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. what the kingdom of God was all about, what it was not about. Mm -hmm. And who would make it into the kingdom? Mm -hmm. Paul, in his journey to and from, mm -hmm. Paul started, just as you and I started out, sinning. Paul was a man of God that he thought. Yeah. Jewish, of Jewish descent, and was doing everything he could do to rid the Jewish community of Christians. Mm -hmm. All right. Those who are Christ-like. Yeah. Because he and those leaders of the church did not believe that Jesus was the Christ. All right. They were yet waiting, yet seeking mm -hmm. another. Mm -hmm. They were seeking a king to come down in all his royal finery, not some carpenter's son, mm -hmm. to be their savior. Paul found out on the road to Damascus just how wrong he was. My God, my God. Some of us have, have come into the knowledge 
just like Paul did on that road to Damascus, that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Mm -hmm. He is our Savior. Mm -hmm. yes. But while you're living down here, while you're being turned and pulled on every side, hell is in your way. All right, now. What you have to do is quit looking at the circumstances. Yeah. See, yeah. we are real quick to, to, to want to call ourselves kingdom, king, queen of a royal lineage. But we let the, the trials and tribulation of this world take our heritage away from us. Mm -hmm. We let troubles interfere with our living, our kingdom living. We let the circumstances draw us away. We let things that happen. You know, there are people in today that are so afraid to live, to go out and tell somebody about Jesus because they are afraid of what somebody might do. Because we see on television every day that somebody would walk up to somebody, somebody going out and doing that job, open somebody, knock on somebody's door, and when they open the door, uh, your, your power bill is due. I'm coming here to turn your lights off. You, you want to make a payment and shoot them dead. My God. Mm -hmm. We get so caught up in the circumstances of this world till we forget whose we are. All right. We let hell, we let Satan and his minions pull us away uh -huh. from our goal. Uh -huh. We let the storms of this life. Mm -hmm. But you know one thing about Jesus when he was preaching the kingdom? He not only preached the kingdom, but he exhibited the kingdom. Mm. Yeah. Yes. He walked yes. on water. Yes. He raised the dead. Glory. He cast out demons. Yes. He healed the sick. Yes, you and I can do the same thing. Yes. When I was looking at all these listings of the kingdom of God, Starting out Matthew 6 and 33 said, But seek ye first yes. the kingdom of God yes. and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added. Uh -huh. Seek ye first yes. the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. Seek ye first. First. Mm -hmm. first. 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 Seek first the world. All the money that I can I can acquire. Yes. Seek no. What, what am I supposed to be seeking? The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. His well, that means that I, 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 can't, I can't go to work, right? You mean I can go to work and still seek the kingdom of God? Yes. You mean I can, I can, I can, I can do what I'm, I need to do to survive down here and be in the kingdom, seek yes. the kingdom? Yes. Well, see, I thought it was. That I, you know, if I'm a pastor, that I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I, I can be pastorly like. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And that's all I had to do. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us to seek first the kingdom of God. Right. That means that I can't stay right here. All right. That means I've got to go out. Jesus, you know, we are, we are so apt today to, to measure a pastor, a preacher, a deacon by another pastor, a preacher, a deacon. You know, whether my pastor shouts or he, he, he hoops or, you know, I hadn't read anywhere in the Bible that Jesus hooped. Come on now, let, let, let. the Bible says he talked. I ain't got anything against somebody that does that. They don't get me wrong because I've done it in the past. And if you, if, 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 I can do it again if God puts it on my heart. Because sometimes that's the only way you can reach people. That's what they're used to. That's the only way you'll reach them. Right. But when it comes down to it, it's the word of God. Mm -hmm. You've got to leave them with something. So first you have to give them something so that they can receive something. Yeah. If the only thing you're doing is giving them an emotion, emotion is going to fade. Mm -hmm. yeah, <coughs> because life is hard. Yeah. Emotion is going to fade. First Corinthians. Second chapter, the fourth and fifth verse. First Corinthians, second chapter, fourth and fifth verses. Read. And my 
speech. Mm -hmm. And my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstrating, demonstration of the spirit mm -hmm. and of power. Yes. That your faith should not stand mm -hmm. in the wisdom of man, but in the power of God. Mm -hmm. That's right. That your faith should not stand mm -hmm. in the wisdom of men, All right. but in the power of God. Yeah. Man's wisdom mm -hmm. will tell you that if you want something, uh -huh. <clears throat> if you desire something, mm -hmm. then you go out and you take it. Mm -hmm. You go out and you take it. All right. Somebody else has got it. You do everything that you can to get it. Mm -hmm. What's the golden rule? He who has the gold makes the rule. I heard that in Sunday school today. We were talking about, uh, well, y'all was talking, I was listening, about how things are different. But, you know, there's a difference if somebody goes out and commits a, a law violation if you got money. And one who doesn't have money. If you got money, you can buy lawyers, buy judges, buy 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 a judgment mm -hmm. that will set you free. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you at the mercy right. of that court. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, let me put it this way: you at the mercy of God. I don't care if you got money or not, because this world is only for a little while. All right. And All man's right. wisdom, you might find riches down here. Yeah. You might find fine houses. You might find every type of friend, every type of food that you might want. But eventually, you're going to die. Mm -hmm. It's one thing we all have in common. Mm -hmm. You're going to leave this place. All right. And man's wisdom is not going to get you into heaven. But the power of God will. Yes. The power of God will get you where you want to be. The, the, the most, the most that this world can take from you is your life. Mm -hmm. But after that, <clears throat> but after that, Hallelujah. I've got glory. Hallelujah. I've got heaven to look to. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it should be a shame. It is a shame mm -hmm. that you would live in hell down here right. and then go to hell after. You're in a hellified situation here, mm. and you will die and go to hell. Yeah. Who are you living for? What are you standing for? You know, the kingdom of God, if you're standing for the kingdom of God, and Paul in this, 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 this title section here had, had made a demonstration, made a statement that he was living for the afterlife. He was living to live again. Yeah. He made himself a servant because God called him a servant. Yes. He made himself a servant though he was of high stature as a man. Yes. He was a low standard in God's work and God's plan. He is making himself available yes. for God. Yes. Are we making ourselves available for God? Who are we standing for? All right. All right. The Bible said we have to stay yes. when all else yes. stay. Yes. Do we know what we're standing for? Yes. Do we know who we're standing for? Yes. There are times in our life when we have to stand when, when it ain't popular. All right now. There are times in our life when we have to stand when everybody's standing against us. Uh -huh. When the church doesn't understand, when God sends a message and I deliver it and, and even the members don't understand. Mark 4 and 26, and God said, the kingdom of God is if a man should cast a seed into the ground. When we cast the seed into the ground, we don't know. That's right. Sometimes there's a big rain and it washes the whole uh -huh. road away. That's mm -hmm. right. Sometimes it's on fertile soil and we gain mm -hmm. way more than we have expended. The kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. What would you like in the kingdom of God too? Hallelujah. Faith. Of God is not like our wisdom. Mm. But the Lord has power to deliver us. 
Philippians, third chapter, 13th and 14th verse. Philippians, third chapter, 13th and 14th. The text reads, Brethren, I count not myself right. to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, mm -hmm. forgetting those things which are behind, mm -hmm. and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press yeah. toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Forgetting all those things which I've, I've done, I failed at, mm -hmm. forgetting all those things which I've been applauded in, in a worldly sense, forgetting all those things that I've accomplished, Naturally, mm -hmm. I press on. Mm -hmm. I may not understand why I'm going the way I'm going. Mm -hmm. I may not even agree with it. But if God said it, I'm pressing. Yeah. Church, in this day and this time, when we look around us, that needs to be more pressing. All right. We get to a point where we got some resistance and we just stop. Mm. Or we turn around and we, we call in and say, you know, this ain't working. We got to try something else. Mm. If you would just press. press. You know, it, in this day and time, there are more of them mm. around us that we can see than there are more for us. My Lord. Because you can't see what's going on in the spiritual realm. Yeah. You can't see or you don't know why God is doing what he's doing. I remember Brother Hill made a, a comment about somebody that he was watching and they had some young lady doing flips across the room. Mm -hmm. Doing flips across the room, doing preaching. And they didn't understand. But then there was somebody in the back said, you know, Lord, is this for me? Have somebody doing flips across the room. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't understand. Your thoughts are not like God's All thoughts. Right. Your All ways right. are not like God's ways. Right. God has a purpose for everything he tells us to do. Mm -hmm. If you would just do, you go around and you see the things that are happening in this world. There are people who are, who are so caught up. They don't want to send their children out in the in the world because things are happening in the world and think there are dangers in the world. There are things going on and, and you know what I'm scared for. I used to be like that. I used to wait up at night waiting on my daughters to get home because I, I was so afraid that something was gonna happen and, and if something happened I want to be Johnny, you know, ready to get up and go out there and find what's mine. But I then I realized that that God got my back. He's got mine. If I would leave them in his hand right. and allow God to be God. Yeah. See, we aren't allowing God to be God. Yeah. We want to take God and we want to put him in a box and we want to tell God how to handle the situation. Yeah. In this day and the time where hell is all around us. Yeah. We are the only heaven, the only God some of our people will see. Right. You have to stand up. You have to walk like God. You have to talk like God. Yeah. You have to be that God. Yeah. Paul said, I found it not thievery to be like Christ. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. You ought to find it a good thing Thank you, Lord. to walk and talk and act like Christ. Yeah. It's not a sin to bless somebody. Yeah. It's not a sin to be a, a blessing to somebody. That's right. That's right. Give and it shall be given unto you. Amen. Press down. Woo! Child, you don't know. You haven't tried. Hallelujah. Oh, taste and see. Yeah, yeah. Press 
for the mark of the high call. See, everybody, you know, when, when, when we need something in a, in a physical sense, if, if I need uh, to buy a car and I ain't got the money, if I can get overtime, I'm going to press my way and get that overtime so I can get that little bit of money so I can go out and buy what I want to buy. Well, in this spiritual sense, you got to press. Yes. Press your faith. Press. Press your faith. Mm. Work it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Trying to live kingdom. Mm. Live <coughs> in a hellified. Yes, Come on now. Yes. Yes, you got to press. You got to know. You can't depend on somebody because Satan will send somebody here. God sent me with a wood. Mm -hmm. You know what? <laughs> if God wants to tell me, he tells me. Mm. You know, if I was if I was out here doing something, God speaking to me and I did not acknowledge him, did not do, then he might send you. Pastor, I know you know this, but God told me to tell you. Yeah, I know. He told me too. I just didn't yeah. tell you. He told me. God will tell you. It's time that we got up and acted like we were kingdom children. Mm -hmm. Kingdom living down here. Yeah. It ain't easy sometimes because this world doesn't like you. Mm. This, this is not your home. And this world does not like you. Mm -hmm. They don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to have anything that you want. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, my God said I could. Yeah. Yeah. And if God said I can, I can, I will, and I I already claimed it. I have. Mm -hmm. I've claimed a blessing for each and every one of you. All you got to do is receive that I blessing. Receive All you got to do is receive that blessing. Hallelujah. You got to start walking like kingdom children. You got to start walking like princes and princesses. You got to start acting like. It. You got to start speaking like. It. Yeah. Instead of down downtrodden. Mm. Yeah, I got this on my back. Ooh, I don't know. This back is killing me. Yeah, it is. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I, don't, I barely can make it out of bed today. I don't know what I'm going to do by the, tomorrow. You right. Mm. Speak mm. those things. Yeah. We putting ourselves in the grave All every right. day All right. by our wood. All right. mm -hmm. Kingdom living mm -hmm. in a hellified world. Mm. Right. And you're speaking those things which are going to drag you down. Right to it. I am a child of God. Yeah. I have everything that I need. I have more than enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you know what? You can't even pray today. I bet you I can't. Yeah. You can't. You know, oh, yeah, go in the school. I, the children can't. Yeah, they can. Mm -hmm. Teach them how to pray. Yeah. Teach them how to pray. Show them. Let them see you pray. 